हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मनोज परसाई विथ न्यू चैप्टर कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री विद द फार्मूला इज कॉल्ड डिस्टेंस फार्मूला कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री यू नो दैट अ कार्टेशियन प्लेन कार्टेशियन प्लेन x x minus x y and it is minus y this is zero okay in the, i will take any two points in the first quadrant suppose two points i am taking let uh, this point be p and here i am taking as and uh, we are finding the distance between p to q the coordinates of point p because this point p which lies on the cartesian plane so the co coordinate let x1 y1 two points and the coordinate of point q x2 y2 okay in this we are actually what is the name of this distance formula distance formula P Q. How to find the distance between P to Q? For finding the distance, I'll draw one perpendicular here on the x-axis. Second perpendicular here again on the x-axis. Suppose uh, M. This point is N. I will draw one perpendicular on this line and give the name as R. What I have done? Draw perpendicular P M on x-axis, Q N on x-axis, and Draw one perpendicular through point P to Q N here. So that is a this is ninety degree. It is a perpendicular that means a parallel to x axis. Okay. You can see in triangle. In triangle P Q R. In triangle P Q R. Since the triangle P Q R is a right angle triangle, one angle is a ninety degree. We can use Pythagoras theorem in it. Using Pythagoras theorem. Using Pythagoras theorem, so we'll use Pythagoras theorem. When it what happens? P Q square is equal to P R square plus R Q square. P Q square is equal to P R square plus R Q square. P Q square, the value we are finding. Now let us discuss about the values of P R and R Q. P R is so a P R. P R is equal to P R is equal to M N. Yes or no? Because it becomes a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. We have drawn two perpendicular on the x-axis. Each interior angle is ninety degree. It is a rectangle. So that means P R is equal to M N. Whatever the value of P R, the same as M N. Now we are finding the value of M N. Okay. Distance from O to N. What is the distance from origin to n? You can see that this point Q is coordinate x two y two. This is abscissa. It is ordinate. Abscissa. What does it mean? Intercept on x axis. So distance from O to n is equal to abscissa x two. Am I right? O to n x two and O to m O to m. This is point P. Its coordinate x one comma y one. X one is abscissa. So this distance is x one. So what does it mean? M n is equal to M n is equal to. May I write here O n minus O n minus O n. O n distance from origin to n x two minus O m which is x one. So finally, the value of P R is equal to x two minus x one. In place of P R, we have to put x two minus x one. Plus second value we are finding R Q. Look at what is the position of R Q. Position of R Q is this. This is R Q. It is vertical. Vertical. What does it mean? We are talking about the ordinates, right? R Q, R Q R, R Q. 
आर क्यू इज इक्वल टू वे राइट क्यू एन माइनस आर एन क्यू एन माइनस आर एन ओके क्यू एन फ्रॉम क्यू टू एन अगेन दर्डिनेट इज एक्स टू वाई टू एफ सी सा दिस इज एफ सी सा दैट इज ऑर्डिनेट वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ऑर्डिनेट वाई टू सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज वाई टू एंड सेकेंड इज आर एन आर एन दिस आर एन इज इक्वल टू पी एम and the coordinate of this point p is x1 y1 fc is a x1 ordinate y1 so that means this value is y1 so i may write here y1 okay qn qn that is y2 minus rn rn that means it is y1 the concept is clear for everyone qn can be written qn minus rn the value of qn is y2 ordinate and the value of rn this coordinate of here is not given so that means equal to that one what is the length height height is y1 so this height from n to r is also y1 it is y1 okay now pr square what is pr pr is x2 minus x1 whole square plus rq rq is y2 minus y1 whole square Okay, P Q square is equal to x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. But we are finding the distance. That means to find the value P Q, P Q is equal to under root x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. And friends, this is called distance formula. When we are going to find the distance between any two points. we will use this formula first is taking as x1 y1 second point is x2 y2 putting the value in this formula so that is called distance formula now we are taking some questions from exercise 7.1 using this distance formula exercise 7.1 in this exercise distance between two points we have to find out and uh, some quadrilaterals are given we'll have to identify whether the quadrilateral is a square rhombus trapezium i am taking a question some numeric numerical value numeric term i am taking and finding the distance between two points okay you remember the distance formula under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 I am writing here. Here I am writing here. P Q is equal to under root x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. This would be used in. Question number one: Find the distance between the following pair of points. I am taking a question. First question, second part: minus five seven minus one three. Exercise seven point one. First question, second point. Distance between. distance between minus 57 minus 13 minus 13 we are going to find the distance between minus 57 and minus 13 okay okay let first point then i have derived a formula so i have written first point is p x1 y1 second point is q x2 y2 so that is x1 y1 it is x2 y2 so we consider let p minus 5 comma 7 and q minus 1 comma 3 okay so the distance between p q is equal to under root x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 I think you can write here. This is x one. Here is a y one, x two, and y two. 
and you don't make this mistake some of the words i have observed that they write here x1 x2 y1 y2 please don't write like this because this is the coordinate in this quadrant one is abscissa second is ordinate that means one x and one y x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so keep in your mind this thing x1 y1 x2 y2 x2 minus x1 x2 minus 1 minus x1 minus 5 minus 5 whole square see x2 minus x1 we will not ignore signs whatever the signs are there with minus with 1 minus sign with 5 minus sign our formula says x2 minus x1 whole square so the value of x2 is minus 1 minus this minus from the formula x1 minus 5 whole square plus y2 minus y1 y2 3 minus y1 7 square so it is coming minus 1 minus and minus it is plus 5 whole square is equal to 3 minus 7 minus 4 whole square so it is plus sign this means minus 1 plus 5, 5 minus 1, 4, 4 square plus minus 4 square. Square of 4, 16 plus square of minus 4, again 16. Because in a bracket, if there is a minus sign or plus sign, it doesn't matter. Minus 4 whole square, it becomes plus 16. So it is coming under root 30. And what is the value of under root 32? We make a prime factor of 32. Prime factor of 32. 16. 8. 4. 2. One pair of 2. Second pair of 2. So when I write here 2 to the 4 out. And inside 2. So the distance between them. 4 under root 2. Okay. So friends this is the use of distance formula. Now taking the second question. Second is find the distance between the point 0, 0 and 36, 50. Again using the distance formula in its game. Determine if the points 1, 5, 2, 3 and minus 2, minus 11 are collinear. Okay. okay, third question I am solving. Three points are collinear. How to check that the three points are collinear? What is the procedure? Because we know that only distance formula now. So for checking that three points are collinear, we'll have to find the distance between first and second point, find the distance between second and third point, and then find the distance between first and third point. Okay. And some of the distances of two points is equal to the third one, then the points are collinear. Otherwise, they are not collinear. So third question is check the points 1, 5, 2, 3, minus 2, minus 11. 1, 5, 1, 5, 2, 3, 1, 5, 2, 3, 1, 5, 2, 3, minus 2, minus 11. Minus 2 minus 11. Okay. Check whether they are collinear. How to check the points are collinear. Okay. Let A 1 5 B 2 3 C minus 2 minus 11. These are the three points. 1, 5, 2, 3, minus 2, minus 11. Okay. So what is the procedure which I told you? Collinear. First we will have to find the distance between A to B. Second we are finding distance between B to C. And third we are finding distance between A to C. If sum of distances of any two is equal to third one. That means the points are collinear. Otherwise they are not collinear. The distance between A B. Using same distance formula, 
first point x1 y1 second x2 y2 x2 minus x1 whole square 2 minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 5 whole square what is coming 2 minus 1 1 square of 1 that is 1 plus 3 minus 5 minus 2 square of minus 2 it is 4 4 plus 1 under root 5 okay second bc distance between b to c now let us see x1 y1 x2 y2 x2 minus x1 so minus 2 minus 2 whole square plus minus 11 minus 3 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square minus 2 minus 2 it is minus 4 whole square minus 4 whole square plus 16 minus 11 minus 3 minus 14 and minus 14 whole square 14 into 40 14 4 is 56 5 196 okay plus 196 6 6 12 9 1 10 11 and 2 212 can we factorize 212? Yes, we can. 2 under 2, 0, 6, 2, 5, 3. 2 under root 15. Okay. Third, we are finding the value of AB, we got it, BC got it, now AC. AC. Point A, X1, Y1, it is x2 y2 this is x2 y2 x2 minus x1 whole square minus 2 minus 1 whole square plus minus 11 minus 5 okay minus 2 minus 1 whole square plus minus 11 minus 5 whole square it is coming minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 whole square that is 9 plus Minus 11 minus 5 minus 16 minus 16 16 multiplied by 16 256 so the result is 256 and 9 6 9 15 1 5 1 6 and 2 265 factorization of 265 yes it is divisible by 5 5 5 to 25 1 5 3 to 15 so I think no factor here, no pairs are here, so we'll write here only 265. Now, friends, we have three values AB is equal to under root 5, BC is equal to 2 under root 53, and AC is equal to under root 265. Okay, I am trying to add any two and seeing that the sum of these two is coming third equal to third or not okay so ab plus bc root 5 plus 2 under root 53 result is same as which is not equal to 265 it's okay adding these two 253 and root 265 sum is not equal to root 5 adding root 5 and under root 265 again the sum is not coming equal to 2 under root 53. So what does it mean? Sum of any 2 is not equal to third one. Sum of any 2 is not equal to third. What does it mean? These three points are not collinear. If they could be collinear, then what happens? Suppose it is A, B, C. Then the distance from A to B, B to C is equal to A to C. But because this type of situation is not coming, and that is the meaning, that the points are not collinear. So the points, points are non-collinear. Okay. These points are non-collinear because sum of any two is not coming to third one. Okay. So that is question number three. Now we are taking a question.
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन बट बिफोर नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट विल हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एट आल्सो क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इन एट क्वेश्चन फोर कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द क्वारिलेटर गिवेन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इट वेदर द क्वारिलेटर दिस क्वारिलेटर इज ए स्क्वायर रोमबस रेक्टेंगल नगलो ओके सो बिफोर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन वी शुड नो दैट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ rectangle square parallelogram rhombus okay so what are the properties of first let us discuss about properties of square what is a square if any quadrilateral is a square how will you understand you will understand that if all sides are equal and all interior angles are equal all sides are equal but here angles when we are talking about and uh, we are using the distance formula in distance formula we have to use only the distance okay so one thing is one question number 8 is given name the types of the quadrilateral formed if any by the following points are given and reason for your answer actually the four coordinates four vertices in a quadrilateral there are four vertices and the coordinates of four vertices are given okay so one suppose i am taking fifth question and second part minus 3 5 second one is 3 1 and uh, 0 3 last one is minus 1 minus 4 what is this these are the four vertices of a quadrilateral we are going to check it whether it is a square rhombus rectangle and yes it is a square then why rectangle then why reason also okay so taken in order suppose this is a quadrilateral A, B, C, and D. Coordinates A minus three comma five, B three comma one, C zero comma three, and last minus one comma four. Okay. Means the question is something like that. There are four vertices are given, and uh, we are going to check which type of this quadrilateral. Okay. Which type of this coordinate? Here, first, let me explain you for everything. Okay, this is a coordinate. Suppose A, B, C, D. One coordinate is there. If we will prove that all sides are equal, like A, B. Is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Equal. All sides are equal. And how many diagonals? There are two diagonals AC and BD. And if AC is equal to BD, they are also equal. All sides are equal and both the diagonals equal. Then it will become a square. What is it? A square. The property of a square: all sides are equal, all diagonals are equal. Okay. Second, if this is the first case, case number two. If AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA, equal, equal. But AC is not equal to BD. All four sides are equal. But AC is not equal to BD. One diagonal is not equal to second diagonal. What does it mean? That is rhombus. That is rhombus. Okay. Third one. If opposite sides are equal, like AB is equal to AB is equal to DC, and AD is equal to BC. They are equal. They are equal. And AC is equal to BD. Diagonals are equal. Opposite sides are equal and diagonals equal. What is it? 
इट इज अ पैथलोग्राम सॉरी 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 अपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल एंड डायगनल्स आर इक्वल दैट इज अ रेक्टेंगल दैट इज रेक्टेंगल फोर्थ केस इफ अपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल बट डायग्नल्स आर नॉट इक्वल ए सी इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी डी डायग्नल्स आर नॉट इक्वल देन इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम ओके these are four condition you will keep in your mind these four condition if all sides are equal diagonals are equal it is a square if all sides are equal but diagonals are not equal it is a rhombus if opposite sides are equal diagonals are equal it is a rectangle opposite sides are equal but diagonals are not equal it is parallelogram okay so what does it mean now we are going to find all the sides all diagonals and let us see and we analyze that what is it so first we are finding the value of ab 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 x1 y1 x2 y2 x2 y is x1 3 minus minus plus 3 whole square plus 1 minus 5 whole square what is coming 6 6 is your 36 5 minus 4 16 what is coming here 6 12 3 4 5 under root 52 now we are finding the value of bc B C x two minus x one x one y one x two y two zero minus three whole square plus three minus one whole square. What is coming? Three three is a nine. Three minus one two two is a four. Nine four thirty. Okay. A B is not equal to B C. A B B C now C D. C D. X one y one x two y two minus one minus zero minus one whole square plus four minus three whole square. So it is coming one square plus again one square that is under root two. A B B C C D and now we are finding D A. A D. What is it? X one x one y one x two y two minus three plus one. Whole square and five minus one, five minus four, one whole square. See minus three plus one, whole square and five minus four whole square. Minus three plus one two, four, and it is one under root five. Okay. Here sides are coming in a very absurd manner. You can see A B B C C D and D A. That is AB under root fifty two. It is under root thirteen, under root two, and under root five. Okay. When you see that the length of this side AB is too big, under root fifty two. Okay. Under root fifty two. That means it is something eight eight just seven seven just forty nine. It is seven point something. One side is seven point something. Second side BC that is three three and nine four four just sixteen three point something. It is one point something. And it is two point seven three one two. Okay, you can see here one two three seven. One side is seven, which is now the practically situation you can see in a quadrilateral. One side is seven centimeter. For example, seven, and these three are one two and three. If we are going to add them, one plus two, three plus three, six. So that means the sum of three sides is not equal to even the fourth side. Fourth side is greater than the sum of three sides. So in this case, I think any quadrilateral is not possible. You can see one, two, three, four, and the question condition is one, two, three. Sum of these three sides is less than the fourth side. Okay. So in this situation, I think a quadrilateral even it's not possible. Otherwise, you know what is the procedure? Procedure is this: if you will see that and you start checking it, if uh, opposite sides are equal, okay, and diagonals are equal, then it is a rectangle. 
Opposite sides are equal, diagonals are not equal. We'll say that okay, it's a parallelogram. See, whereas here, if all sides are equal, diagonals equal, it is a square. All sides are equal, diagonals are not equal, it is a progress. Okay. One more question I am taking. It's an important question which I am taking here. That is question number six. Find the point on the x-axis which is equidistant from two minus five minus two nine. Six question. It is find the point on x-axis which is equidistant. Point on x-axis which is equidistant. from minus 2 comma from minus minus 2 comma 5 2 comma minus 5 and minus 2 comma 9 question is find a point on x axis which is equidistant from this point on x axis okay so i am taking solution of it two points let the point a i have taken 2 comma minus 5 and point b minus 2 comma 9 point on x axis which is equidistance from these two so equidistance what does it mean this is equidistance a b this point is d at this point where this point is situated it is situated on x axis situated on x axis can you tell me the coordinate of x axis? x and y. On this axis, whatever the point which we are taking, the value of x is something, but the coordinate of y, value of y will always zero on the x axis. So the point on x axis, one point I am taking x, and second the coordinate of FCSA x and ordinate is taken zero. Because this point I have taken on x axis. Okay, the condition is given point on x axis. On x axis, you will see that the point on x axis can be anything but the point on y, that means the value of y is 0. So the point I have taken x, comma 0. And condition is which is equidistance. Equidistance, what does it mean? This is it is not necessary that this is a straight line. The situation is possible like this also. A, 2 comma minus 5 at this point is b minus 2 comma 9 and point suppose this d on x axis this is also a possibility coordinate of d x comma 0 in the question they are saying that the point on x axis which is equidistance. It is not given that the point on x axis which is at the midpoint at the middle from these two points. Okay. So this point D may be outside of that. This is also a situation. Okay. So here what should be done? I am using because that as given D A is equal to D B. D A is equal to D B. D A is equal to D B. Given? DA distance from D to A distance D to B DA using distance formula. So when I use the distance formula under root x minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus minus that means 0 plus 5 whole square is equal to DB distance from D to B under root x plus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 9 whole square. Okay. Since both the side there is a root, so squaring on both sides, the square this root will be removed. The term is x minus 2 whole square plus 5 5 get 25 is equal to x plus 2 whole square plus 9 9 is 81. Okay. We have two uh, options. Either we open the bracket or shifting all the terms. So I am opening the bracket. x square 
प्लस फोर माइनस फोर एक्स आइडेंटिटी ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस एट्टी वन सो वाई आई शिफ्टिंग ऑल द टर्म्स फॉर राइट टू लेफ्ट देन वॉट हैपन्स इट वुड बी कैंसिल माइनस फोर एक्स एंड माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस एट एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस एट एक्स दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी नाइन इट इज एट्टी वन प्लस फोर एट्टी फाइव माइनस एट्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वॉट इज कमिंग माइनस एट एक्स प्लस माइनस माइनस फिफ्टीन माइनस नाइन सिक्स सेवन माइनस टू फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो That means minus eight x is equal to fifty six. So x is equal to fifty six upon minus eight, eight seven zero fifty six minus seven. So that means the point on x axis x comma zero I have taken x is minus seven comma zero. So this is the point which is lying on the point D. Okay, friends. Okay, thank you. So, in the next lesson, part two. This is a part one. In the part two, we'll take uh, section formula. Okay.